This video is proudly brought to you by Hovertech. Hovertech. Just a button away. Here we'll be looking at how to create a clockwork mode recovery image and flash it to a techno phone. A clockwork mode recovery image is an advanced recovery mode which contains many more features compared to the stock recovery and it can help you to easily reco recover your phone if you uh, if you break it for any reason. We are going to be using MTK Droid tools for this method and it's very important we have our MT drivers which is what PDA net here is for. So I will install PDA net next without the empty drivers empty empty key drivers can't detect or communicate with your phone so we need to install these drivers all right i have a prompt here it says i have existing android drivers what i need are techno drivers so to be sure i have techno drivers i click a yes to reinstall my drivers no techno on this list i click on i leave it on orders and okay Alright, I have a prompt asking me to connect the phone with USB debugging enabled. So you need to recall to enable USB debugging on your phone. You go to the settings, developer options, and you tick USB debugging. I've done that so I will just connect the phone. Alright. So installing USB driver, setting up network driver. So at the end of this, I should now have my MT and VCOM drivers installed on the PC. Alright, so I have a confirmation drivers installed. So I go ahead with my MTK Droid Tools. I open the MTK Droid Tools folder. I run MTK Droid Tools as administrator. This is to avoid permission issues. Okay. MTK Droid Tools should detect the phone's details here. We can have possi four possible colors of this box, the white, the blue, the yellow, or the green. The white means the phone is not detected at all, which means either your drivers are not installed or USB debugging was not enabled on the phone. The blue means the phone is not rooted. The yellow means the phone is rooted but is not communicating with the PC via root shell, as you can see. Well, the green box means the phone and PC can communicate via root shell. So if you have a yellow box, all you need to do is click a root. A root button should be around here. You click the root button. You click a yes on PC, grant on phone. And a green bar should load here. Then this should become green. When you have that, you proceed to the root backup recovery tab. Now, before you flash clockwork on recovery to your phone, it's very important you have a backup. So what you'd want to do is to click back up here. I wouldn't be doing that for to save time on this. But when you click a back up here, you see a list of activities. And if prompted to pack back up, you click a yes or it's up to you. And when backup is complete, you see a confirmation saying task is complete. When you have a backup, you click to boot, to use boot from phone. And then click recovery and boot. Now we should be getting a prompt. Okay, our first prompt says to make CWM recovery automatically. To this, you'd want to click a yes. If you get a prompt asking you to patch boot, you click a yes. Basically, anything you get, you click a yes to. Install created recovery to phone, you click a yes to that. And then to reload phone in recovery. So this means the CWM was successfully flashed to the phone. But you could confirm by clicking yes to reload your phone in recovery or just know if you are confident it has worked, which it should have in this case. 